that mowing the yard could actually be fun. Stick around, and I'll tell you about this very cool remote-controlled lawnmower. Making chores uh, a lot easier in many cases, but tonight in Charlie's World. A few weeks ago, Charlie showed a retiree who had built a homemade remote-controlled lawnmower. Well, it turns out those are already on the market. Yeah, and being built right here, in fact, in Tampa Bay. Watch. Luis Medina is happiest when tinkering away at his workbench. And it's quite productive tinkering at that, because it led to this invention. A remote-controlled lawnmower. I'm an electrical engineer, and I've been an inventor ever since I was a child. And th this idea came about in 2000 when I moved down to Florida. Like most of us, Luis didn't like mowing his yard in the hot sun. So he figured there must be an easier way, and this is it. Not only does it eat grass efficiently, it eats gas efficiently. It's a hybrid. Hybrid because it uses a combination of a gas, gas engine and electric power. Combining these two, it makes it a very efficient unit. It took him four years of trial and error and prototypes to get his mower on the market, but they're built here now and sold on the internet. There is a slight learning curve, but it's easy to master. Even I can do it. You move it around with one stick, start and stop it with the other. I started with flick it, push it to the right. All right. Okay. Very easy. It's like playing with a radio control. It's actually kind of fun to mow the yard. It's fast and powerful. A patent is pending for all of Luis's work. His latest model is bigger and better and designed for commercial use. Very aggressive tires and tracks, which enables uh, commercial users uh, in the industry to climb very steep hills, go to places where it is too risky for humans. The state of Arizona's Department of Transportation just awarded Luis a four-year contract. They'll be using his commercial mowers along the roadside. And the reason that they chose us is because of uh, it's, we're the only hybrids in this plant it and it's fuel efficient. The consumer version starts at $2,800 and goes up from there. It has a hitch so you can pull a spreader behind it. Folks up north can buy a plow for it to push snow off the driveway in the winter. Satisfied, Luis is still tinkering away at his workbench. He'd like to build an engine that runs off seawater. And you get the idea, after seeing his mower, he just might do it. Reporting from Charlie's World, I'm Charlie Belcher. For a link to uh, EvaTech's website, just log on to MyFoxTampaBay.com. You'll find it in the Seen on TV section. I know lots of guys right like here in the that. studio who want that immediately. Yeah, it's like a predator drone that cuts grass. <laughs> just, exactly, <laughs> okay. and it's just fun to operate. Chip, I know you'd like the remote control.